Hello my dear friends. Welcome to Fortran Academy. My name is Harshwats and today we will discuss about how to import CSV file in Power BI. CSV file is a part of Excel file which is usually said as comma separated value files. So in this video we will look into how this file can be imported in Power BI. Now let us go into the Power BI and explore this dimension that how importing for CSV file works. So let's go. So we are here in Power BI desktop. So it is quite easy to import or upload data in Power BI desktop as the most of the uploading process is in the home tab and the data section. You can easily get into the get data. Get data in get data you will see common data resources in which the generally used common sources are described here like Excel, Power BI dataset, Power BI data flow, SQL server, analysis services, text, CSV, web or data feed, tank query. So accept this if you have a certain data source that is not in within this common data source then you can always opt for the more version. When you click on the more version you will see another tab in which, which is like this in the get data section you will see all the file section that is available for the sources that you can easily upload your data from so we have to upload a csv file so for the csv file we will select text slash csv when we click on this after that connect after clicking the connect button the another tab opens that is called open section in which we have to find the file we want to upload so in the table one which is a csv file i have already selected this in the section you must always consider while selecting any file if it is not available to you like text files csv or prn file is available but certainly some of the time you selected something different but you want to change at the end you will usually go in the this section and you can change into the text files or all files in which you can easily select the csv file after that click on the open button when you click on the open button there is a connecting please wait while we establish the connection to table.csv after this you can see that your table has been uploaded in a power bi desktop this is table1.csv file origin you can see delimiter is comma and based on first 200 rows you can easily see your data that is present at that table after that if you want to transform the data you can always transform your data otherwise click on the load section if you click on the load section your data will be imported in a power bi desktop this is a loading process which will take certain seconds after that your data will be uploaded your data has been imported into a power bi desktop you can see in the fields there are oh, around 14 columns that has been created into the field section if you want to do the visualization you can always drag and drop according to the requirement of your data and do the visualization as per your need so with this point i am going to end this video and i hope your queries got cleared and if not kindly write us in comment section we will surely get back to you and if this video helped you in any way kindly drop a like and don't forget to subscribe our channel for amazing videos in future till then have a good day